Hello everyone, welcome to Pocket Change, a finance podcast in the visual form. So if you would like to hear the audio portion of this podcast, please go to Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts and look up Pocket Change. You can also follow the Twitter handle at finance podcast number one on Twitter. So today, as you can clearly read, uh, the subject is, what is a 401k? What is it? What is a 401k? So a lot of younger people, because this is a finance podcast meant for uh, younger people, uh, little tutorials and whatnot, uh, uh, 401k is something that a lot of people, when they start their first job out of college, they are enrolled, or could be enrolled, they have the option to be enrolled into a 401k. Um, Your parents have it, your grandparents might have had it for a little bit of time, Uh, but basically it is a retirement plan. It is a way to uh, auto-contribute money every pay period to be invested in uh, certain funds, either you can pick or the company picks one for you and just uh, keeps you in it until you decide to do differently with it. Um, but it's just a way to save for retirement, and it's a way that uh, a way that you don't touch it is by making sure that it is pre-tax, meaning uh, no taxes. You, you pay no taxes on the money until you start to use it in retirement. Um, there's an opposite kind of form called a Roth, and we'll go into that in another podcast. But, um, yeah, so it's a, it's a traditional way of pre-tax retirement savings. That is what a 401k is. So, like I said, a lot of companies offer this. Um, and what it is is there are two types of retirement plans. Two, there is a defined benefit or a defined contribution. Defined benefit is if you uh, you get your first uh, job out of school and you go to work for the government or work in the public sector um, for like uh, a nonprofit or something like that. Uh, well, uh, let's just stick to government. Let's keep out of nonprofits. But uh, you work in the government. A defined benefit plan is a pension. That means that you contribute uh, money every pay period, pre-tax, to a retirement plan. But you don't actually get to pick what it's invested in because over the life of like your uh, work life, 40, 30, 35, 40 years, let's just say, you once you hit retirement age or a certain retirement eligibility age, you actually can, uh, you don't necessarily withdraw, but you put in your papers to say that you're retired from your position and you just start to get paid monthly, basically what you used to get paid. So if you're making a thousand dollars a week, uh, you would get paid once you retire a thousand dollars. You don't have to worry about how do I grow this amount of money that I need to retire. Uh, usually the government takes care of that for you. Uh, they calculate it. It's all based on like average income over a certain amount of years. Uh, most of the times five years, like a five year average before you retire. Um, so yeah, you just continue to get paid your normal like uh, pay that you would get. Uh, except this time, like, you're retired and you don't actually have to show up to work every day. So that's, like, the, uh, the dream of, like, a pension. Um, a lot of companies used to offer pensions, too. That's why I said maybe your grandparents have a 401k. Maybe they don't because a lot of grandparents are used to, like, a pension, which is a defined benefit plan. Um, a defined contribution plan is a 401k. And what a 401k does is it gives you the ability to pick, uh, like, a percentage uh, a percentage of your pay that you want to go towards your retirement plan. You contribute. Most of the time, an employer 
So whoever you work for also contributes, sometimes at the same rate that you do. Um, but yeah, you get to contribute whatever you want to, unlike a defined benefit plan, which it is set. You have to give 10% of your pay every week, and in return, 40 years from now, you will get the same exact amount of pay uh, that you do right now. So, um, yeah, that's like the good part of a defined contribution, 401k, is that you get to pick the percentage that you will have invested in it. Um, that's really nice because, you know, if you don't make a lot of money, like if you're young, then that's kind of hard to be like, here's 10% of my pay for 40 years from now. Like, I'm not thinking about 40 years from now, even though I should be in the grand scheme of like a retirement plan, but I'm young. I don't make that much money. I would like to uh, tell you how much I'd like to put uh, towards any kind of retirement plan because I need that money for other things um, right now. In the now, I'm not thinking about 40 years from now, um, I'd like to contribute 1%, I'd like to contribute 2%, 3 4 5 6 whatever percentage, um, rather than right off the top be told how much of a percentage uh, you have to give that's mandatory and there is no option, or out-enroll me. Um, like, un sorry, not out-enroll, that was really dumb. Unenroll, unenroll me. So with a defined uh, benefit plan, you usually can't like unenroll. Um, it's mandatory, and like a pension with like a government. Uh, but yet with a four hundred one k, you don't necessarily have to contribute. Uh, your employer might sign you up if you don't uh, within like the first six months to a year of your working there. They might auto enroll you, but you always have the option to unenroll. Uh, from a retirement plan if it's defined contribution because again you're in control you're in the driver's seat you control how much you contribute so that's uh, pretty much how like contributing to a 401k works um, typically a 401k gives you like your company uh, sets up a 401k plan and they give you through the company that they let you sign up for um, they have options as far as what to invest in, like different kinds of funds and stuff like that. Um, small cap, mid cap, large cap stock funds, bonds, real estate funds. So you can pick. Uh, you get to pick, and that's a nice part. Uh, with a pension, with a defined benefit plan, you don't get to pick. It is invested typically in like a hedge fund. So a hedge fund takes the pool of money that the government uh, you know, has contributed and they invest it to try to get like a high rate of return. So that way, like the government can make up for being able to pay you the same amount that you would have made had you been working. Like that's a lot to make up for if you're the one paying it. So if you're the government, you're trying to get you know high returns on, you know, me, little old me's money that I'm putting in at 10% every pay period. Um, because they have to figure out a way to, you know, be able to pay people the same amount. That's really hard to do. With a defined contribution, so with a 401k, it is a way that employers can kind of let the employees get in the driver's seat. They're not responsible for paying you after you've, uh, you know, left and you've retired. You're out of their hair. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to do, they don't have to do any kind of planning, they don't have to do any kind of research, they don't have to come up with any kind of money. You've been contributing the whole time on your own, and you control when you want to retire. Uh, if you have enough in your 401k, then there have been people that I've seen from doing, uh, interning at like a financial services office. Um, there have been people that have retired at the age of 38 because they contributed massively to their 401k and they just retired. They had enough. Uh, usually with a, with a pension, you are, you know, age 62 is your minimum age. You have to work in order to be able to take the minimum amount of the pension. Um, so yeah, that's again, like you, you're in the driver's seat with a 401k. So it actually is really, really nice if you... Uh, care to do research about it, then, you know, that's great. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you'd like to 
you know, go to the finance podcast uh, audio portion. Like I said in the beginning, please do go to Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Breaker Podcasts, and just look for Pocket Change, and you can hear a whole new side of the 401k. What is a 401k uh, audio portion of the podcast? So with that, give this video a thumbs up because I told you if you just came from the Bitcoin video to give a thumbs down if you don't agree with me, uh, which a lot of people do not and did not agree with me, give this one, do me a favor, a thumbs up. And I will see you guys soon. <laughs>